share your knowledge. It is a way to achieve immortality. Once a year, go somewhere you've never been before. We can live without religion and meditation, but we cannot survive without human affection. Know the rules well, so you can break them effectively. Although you may not always be able to avoid difficult situations, you can modify the extent to which you can suffer by how you choose to respond to the situation. When we feel love and kindness towards others, it not only makes others feel loved and cared for, but it also helps us to develop inner happiness and peace. Whether one is rich or poor, educated or illiterate, religious or non-believing, man or woman, black, white, or brown, we are all the same. Physically, emotionally, and mentally, we are all equal. We all share basic needs for food, shelter, safety, and love. We all aspire to happiness and we all shun suffering. Each of us has hopes, worries, fears, and dreams. Each of us wants the best for our family and loved ones. We all experience pain when we suffer loss and joy when we achieve what we seek. On this fundamental level, religion, ethnicity, culture, and language make no difference. As you breathe in, cherish yourself. As you breathe out, cherish all beings. If you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. Sleep is the best meditation. Sometimes one creates a dynamic impression by saying something, and sometimes one creates a significant of an impression by remaining silent. Judge your success by what you had to give up in order to get it. As people alive today, we must consider future generations. A clean environment is a human right like any other. It is, therefore, part of our responsibility toward others to ensure that the world we pass on is as healthy, if not healthier than we found it. Happiness is not something ready-made, it comes from your own actions. Give the ones you love wings to fly, roots to come back, and reasons to stay. Judge your success by what you had to give up in order to get it. Let us try to recognize the precious nature of each day. We begin from the recognition that all beings cherish happiness and do not want to suffer. It then becomes both morally wrong and pragmatically unwise to pursue only one's own happiness oblivious to the feelings and aspirations of all others who surround us as members of the same human family. The wiser course is to think of others when pursuing our own happiness. The topic of compassion is not at all religious business. It is important to know it is human business, it is a question of human survival. The goal is not to be better than the other man, but your previous self. My religion is very simple. My religion is kindness. Our prime purpose in this life is to help others, and if you can't help them, at least don't hurt them. Cultivating a close, warm-hearted feeling for others automatically puts the mind at ease. It helps remove whatever fears or insecurities we may have and gives us the strength to cope with any obstacles we encounter. It is the principal source of success in life. Since we are not solely material creatures, it is a mistake to place all our hopes for happiness on external development alone. The key is to develop inner peace. People take different roads seeking fulfillment and happiness. Just because they're not on your road doesn't mean they've gotten lost. The true hero is one who conquers his own anger and hatred. What surprises me most is, man, because he sacrifices his health in order to make money. Then he sacrifices money to recuperate his health. And then he is so anxious about the future that he doesn't enjoy the present. The result being he doesn't live in the present or the future. He lives as if he's never going to die, and then he dies having never really lived. Someone else's action should not determine your response. Anger is the ultimate destroyer of your own peace of mind. Our ancient experience confirms at every point that everything is linked together, everything is inseparable. 
I defeat my enemies when I make them my friends. When you practice gratefulness, there is a sense of respect toward others.